Hello, my name is Joe Beniger, and in this video, I will be talking about Microsoft's Project Silica. Project Silica is Microsoft's solution to long-term data storage. It is a block of high-purity quartz glass in which data can be etched into with the use of a femtosecond laser. Microsoft is promising many different things about this new product, which can definitely be revolutionary not only to the tech industry, but the entire world. Since this is a pr uh, pretty new product, there isn't much history about it other than Mark Rusinovich, the CTO of Microsoft Azure, announcing this project in September 2017. However, I believe if Microsoft does uphold the promises with this product, it will definitely shape the future. The actual product doesn't seem to be much. It just looks like a regular old piece of glass with some coloring on it. But this small piece of quartz glass can be the next huge innovation, like the first computer was, as well as the first smartphone, because of the various problems that this product can solve. Unlike other storage solutions like a hard drive or solid state drive, this form of storage is extremely durable when compared to them. Furthermore, removing data many times on a hard drive can ruin that hard drive, unlike the piece of quartz glass, which only needs to be melted, and then it can be used again for future use. The piece of quartz glass also has a long lifetime, which Microsoft estimates to be at least over 1,000 years or so. And since it is just glass, it doesn't cost nearly as much as a huge database would with all those hard drives. The quartz glass also doesn't need intensive air cooling or systems that take away moisture from the surrounding air as most common databases have today. Microsoft's vision for this project is to store what they call cold data on the pieces of quartz glass. Cold data is essentially data that has lots of value to companies but doesn't need to be accessed frequently, such as legal contracts, financial regulation data, medical data of certain patients, so on. Microsoft was able to store the first Superman movie on a piece of quartz glass. This was a huge step for Microsoft, since before it was just a concept. However, now, being able to store data on glass has been proved as a reality. Once they stored it on the glass, they also tested the durability of it. They boiled it in water, scraped steel wool on it, put it in a microwave, baked it in an oven at at least 500 degrees Fahrenheit, and they even degaussed it, which is basically removing a magnetic field by creating a magnetic field. But the quartz glass was not damaged at all and the movie was still stored inside the glass. This proves just how reliable this product can be, as all other forms of storage can easily be damaged. Like how a hard drive can be completely shattered if it is even dropped at once. And how an M.2 drive can easily be ruined if it is not handled with caution and care. Reading and writing on the course class requires a femtosecond laser, which is a machine that can emit lasers with a duration of 1 to the power of negative 15 seconds. This machine emits a laser that focuses on one point within the glass to create a customizable voxel. The voxel is essentially the data that is being stored inside the glass. The quartz glass can hold voxels like a three-dimensional cube, which is why it is able to store so much data on such a small piece of glass when comparing it to a typical hard drive, which can take a lot, can take a lot, lot of space. A two millimeter thick piece of glass can contain over 100 layers of these voxels. Since the data is on the X, Y, and Z plane, actually reading the data would have proven extremely difficult for Microsoft. However, they decided to use machine learning algorithms, which solved this problem for them instantly. Reading the data is done with a computer-controlled microscope that uses a light source and camera to look at it at all the different to look at all the different layers of voxels within the piece of glass. There hasn't been there hasn't been much said about what the future could hold for this project, but what can be said is that this project will change the way companies work all over the world. Even though there isn't much news on the product right now. There's definitely a demand for this new storage device because of how the long-term storage costs just go higher and higher because of needing to store so much data and how much those drives can actually cost.
Banks, hospitals, and the various companies that are out there in the world always run the risk of losing their data, whether it be due to faulty drives, errors, or not constantly keeping a backup of their backup. Additionally, when there is a need for upgrade, whether it be due to a faulty drive or a drive no longer having enough storage, it can be expensive to add new drives or replacing the old ones with newer ones. Which is why this product can help these companies cut down on the huge costs that these databases can, ha can have, as well as the huge risks that can, that can come upon them. Even though everything seems like it is going well for Microsoft, it's actually not. The process that they have for reading and writing is not effective. It is not, near, it, it is not close as a hard drive would be. If they want to be able to use this product for the cloud, they're going to need to read and write data to the Quartz class as fast as a hard drive can. However, right now, they're way too slow and cannot come close to matching a speed in the slightest. Product Silica unquestionably has the potential of becoming an innovating product that solves the problems that come with long-term storage with the use of quartz glass and femtosecond lasers. To end this presentation, I would like to thank you for watching, and I can hope you can take something away from this video, whether it be a newfound interest or maybe some new knowledge that you might not have know known before. Thanks for watching.